this is your boy LB. You already know where it is. It's fight time. 218. Kid Chocolate is coming. KO's on site. You already see it. Hey. Yep, yep. We live. We here. 52 block land. Here with my man. My good man. My good friend Mike. Good fighter. Martial artist. And uh, we're going to. Uh, Shoot the fact, we're gonna talk some 52 blocks, get some myths out the way, put some facts in there, you know, and, and let the people get a more in-depth understanding of exactly what 52 blocks is. So I'm gonna I'm pose a question at my homie Mike, because um, he's a martial artist, has many styles under his belts. And um, I always like to get the, uh, 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 the thoughts of other martial artists on what 52 blocks looks like to them off of first sight you know, what, did you think it was BS or did you think it was something real or had you seen it before? Well, me, me personally, you know, I, had, I hadn't seen it before um, the street. But, you know, I've never, you know, been on the inside to really see the, uh, the inside look, you know, the, you know, the inside the, the prisons and the, and the jails and stuff like that. But, you know, that was the first place that I heard it came from, you know, later. Uh, you know, I you know came to the conclusion that it, it was around probably a little before then, before we started you know getting put in jails. But um, fifty two, it the first look on it for me was okay. It seemed like a like just like you know trying to <laughs> scuffle, like you know just trying to get away from something or whatever it is. But after a while, once you see, start seeing the same movements over and over again, you start seeing patterns and. You start to see that it's something real, and you, you, and if you got the eyes for it, you break it down, and you know it actually is something quite fascinating. You know what I mean? Definitely, yeah. definitely. Well, I, I remember when I uh, I took my uh, license. I was getting my uh, license to teach boxing on um, to um, train fighters at Gleason's gym, and they was asking everybody what they did when they got to me. He said, "What do you do?" I said, "You know, I teach martial artists, martial arts." And he's like, "What type?" I said a couple, but no, one that's, you know, it was popular back in the day, but now it's great, gaining more popularity, 52 blocks. And he said, oh, 52 bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so because of, you know, I think because of, you know, the unorthodox of it, it you know, I, I, I would think the same thing about Caparera if we didn't know what, what they were trying to do. If you've seen the Caparera dude jump down and start doing all this wild movement and you really didn't know nothing about Caparera, mm -hmm. you could easily say, oh, was this some ground, go to the ground, kick bullshit, like, you know, <laughs> like, if, you know, especially if you're a stand It looks real beautiful, you know, <laughs> you know like spinning around you and know. without getting dizzy and all that shit. And, you know. Exactly. But getting to know it, you see that it is a very effective martial art. So, Absolutely. um, I think 52 carries that same stain as that because of the hand movements and stuff and how erratic it may look to, um, to the outsider that nothing, the job is not getting done. But um, I always direct people at that is um, when you're dealing with fighters, most fighting systems have a, a, um, a attack or an area of the body they attack. Like, you know, boxers are looking mm. for body head, you know, they're not going to punch you in the kneecaps, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Muay Thai men will go after your legs and kneecaps and stuff sure. like that, you know, wrestlers want to drag you to the ground and tie you up, and you know, so, 52 in itself, when you see arts like that and Caparera, those type of movements, those arts are, one, are, are, are the arts that are attacking the main problem, which is sight. Mm. You know, like, mm. if we had to fight a blind person, would you need to tell him that you was doing judo to him? You know, he would just grab his ass and choke him. Like, yeah, he wouldn't even yeah, know, because yeah. he can't see it, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He would just feel yeah. it. You know, if you left mm. hooked him, would he know it was a left hook? He would just mm. feel himself get punched, mm. you know? Mm. So what's really the biggest um, problem between you and the other opponent is that he can see you. So arts that confuse the eye, to me, are the most dangerous. And, like, I think anything that we do, that's real has a confusion to the eye. Mesmerization. Yes. <laughs> yes. Razzle dazzle. The razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> and what doesn't have a razzle dazzle? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. You know, everything has that type of thing. And I think that's, you know, one of 52 block strengths is that it attacks the main problem, 
with the opponents that it's like you know like the fang and the snake if you can confuse the eyes the eyes are going to misdirect the brain because they're singing, sending the signals back mm. like oh he's moving left yeah oh yeah. he looked like he wants to punch you in the body mm. so if he never knows that's coming or you know then you have you have a very big disruption thus <laughs> That could that could probably affect like you know how a, a person has their uh, muscle memories. Yes. Like when you know the the message message gets sent, you know to move this way, or, you know automatically. So they're moving that way, and now that, that is a setup for something it's a else. Set up to know. put you in that position. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, so um, I, I think because of that, 52 blocks, you know, it, it has a place. It, it, it fills a void that a lot of arts don't talk about which is what happens when it looks like the other fighters is about to you know kick your ass like every fight system has you know get rid of your opponent hmm. but what if he doesn't like what if your opponent is bringing the you know he bringing that heat to you you know what i'm saying like that's when everybody answer goes out the window because you don't want to believe you're the one on the losing end or right, right. You, you're the one that has to pull it out so um you know defense first is that it gives you a better chance of weathering those type of storms and i've been to a lot of gyms defense is just it's just not even there you know i i think i think you know when you hear 52 blocks i always get a lot of emails like so it's 52 blocks and i was like no nah, it's not really 52 blocks it's probably like 30 something and they repeat you know it's just the name you know what i'm saying but the block word general is staying at 52 it's more for general defense over blocking like this fainting slipping ducking clever footwork hand traps hand face cuffing you know so there's a lot that goes into it more than just the block like you know say the first block of the system skull and bones it's a block but then also it could be an attack you know so you you using an angle of position so you can use that as the the punch is coming in i block it or i can you know, use it to get your attention for a minute because, and people don't understand, the sound clapping is big in real time fighting. Like, yes. real time fighting, sound disturbs balance. So, and it gains the attention. So, if I, all of that, at that one moment, you're locked in. And then here comes the shot. Oh. Yeah, especially if your ears work. Yes. <laughs> your ears work, yeah. You know, and it shocks you. You know, like, if you do that to a guy that's not, Expecting it, and you're gonna get that with the because yeah. it almost makes it feels like something's happened. Yeah, that this, happen. the sound is coming from somewhere, so like I guess the body is receiving it from yes. where it came from, and it's like now it's paying attention exactly. to that spot. Exactly, so okay, skull okay. and bones would use a clapping of the elbow, hmm. you know, a closed door, you know, a triangle trade, which is using like three beats, hmm. you know what I'm saying, but at the same time. If there's some, if there's three shots coming, you run a high probability of blocking them. So the blocks in 52 aren't blocks because you're trying to block. They're blocks because he's trying to hit you. you know, like people have defense according to their fight system. Like Muay Thai guys know how to block kicks with their leg, but their defensive mind isn't there. Like you know, they have a technique with that. Their offensive mind is there. You know, they treat you like a banana tree and try, you know, <laughs> and try to chop you right on down. You know, so I think their uh, 52 blocks fills a big void. The elephant in the room, I always call it, which is defense. You know. You know, the, something that now I think nowadays defense is getting a better look. You know, Mayweather days, it was like he was running, but now you see everybody's fighting right. in a slip right. type of fashion now. Now it's more entertainment. So you um, even get that guys in uh in the uh, in the main, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. you you see in particular uh, uh -huh. T J Dillard show. Yes, yeah, um, sir. Dominic Cruz was the first guy that saw like really moving like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's, champ, yeah. it's needed. Defense brings about the flash. That what people don't understand is that if you want to be that flash fighter, you need defense. Like it's not mm -hmm. through your offense that you're that flash fighter. You may be a flash knockout artist, mm -hmm. but that showmanship of you know, I touch you when I want to touch you and you get nothing comes from a defensive mind. Yeah. And that's always pretty if you can pull it oh, off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it always feels good as the fighter doing it <laughs> to pull that off, you know? So. You, know you know, some people get mad though um, because they, like you said, they feel like that's a, a you know, like a more running type of mm -hmm. thing. You think you, you feel like that? that's a cultural thing or? Oh, definitely. Or, oh, that's a great, uh, that's a great 
Question. You know, like you know, you know, you got a lot of people. They they want they want to see people get hit. They want to mm -hmm. see the blood. Mm -hmm. They want to see the the knockouts, mm -hmm. the the choke. You know, in, in the MMA case, the chokeouts. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, I know. Like, I, I, like, that, what, what do you think that is like majorly? Like, I think that is culture. I think that I think that's the um, that's the real thing that separates us and brings us together. Is that it's a culture to all fights. That's why. Why is 52 blocks a black fighting system? Did it just happen like that? No, if you look at our culture, we don't like to get hit, even in boxing. We're not the best fighters to have chins in the game. Like, mm. we're, we weren't the fighters known to eat 100 shots and mm. pull, these, pull ourselves up by the ropes <laughs> and get back in the game. No, if you catch us good, we go down. <laughs> well, you know that Dobby, you know, I, I was, I, I was, we're checking the YouTube and I seen the Dombey Warriors. Shout out to the Dombey Warriors. Right. Like, you know, if you you ain't fighting until you doing what they doing. <laughs> <I'm saying? laughs> like, we, we we got boxing over here, but the Dombey Warriors they on the next level. But if you even look into that, you can see there's a pause in the fight. Meaning it's not like put your head down and start swinging. That's another. You know, piece of our defensive nature. You even when they grab the hands, it's still a little jockey enough. Right. You know, trying to see what's happening over just launch the missiles. Yeah, because if there's a major blow coming, you know, on the other side of that, because you got one hand wrapped up in in a rope, basically. You know, <laughs> and soon as it's coming, it's coming. You miss, you could get caught, or you know what I mean. It's, exactly. The first, but the first one to go down is out. You know, it's over. So it's like you could get real messed up on the way to being out. <laughs> you know? Big time. Big time. Yeah, you know, and that we don't we we're not known to be the best chins in the game. Mm. You know. Mm. Somebody more like more like a, a a white fighter or a Mexican fighter. Like, you know, Mexican fighters have more like machismo. And if you look yeah. at their culture, they dominate, and I'm not saying they dominate their women, but they have a very dominance mm. over their women because it's machismo, real man shit. Yeah, you yeah. know. And uh, I lived uh, in Hawaii for about uh, uh, three and a half years, and even like the Samoan guys, like uh, and uh, the local Hawaiian guys, they they the ones with the big chins. Like mm -hmm. it's, even out there, you know, you see them fighting, and it's just like like clash boom boom boom, boom. boom. the first yeah. one to go down that's it <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> exactly i don't know i mean i could i could take a shot but you know yeah. why why take a why shot take a i feel shot. like why, why take a shot exactly in that in that frame of thinking is what brought up 52. Mm -hmm. that's why 52 goes with us because we're like why take a shot move block mm -hmm. slip duck don't just stand there that's the basis of 52 blocks you know just like you look at you know the more uh, uh um T uh, Thailand, where Muay Thai comes from, like you look at their culture, you can see why. You know, Muay Thai is pretty much stand and deliver. Like they yeah. got a few slips. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's pretty much like, you know, come on, what you got? You know what I'm saying? When you, how, how many trees you been kicking? You know what I'm saying? Do you know, you look at Chinese co culture. Why do they have so many? Open hand techniques because the Mongolians and the Manchurians was constantly raiding their shit. Mm. They had to learn how to fight. That's what they they had to pick up the quickest thing like what's that a frog, frog frog technique because the Mongolians is coming and we need to have something to keep the to keep the keep the keep the walls you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so it's definitely culture is what creates all fighting systems over the system itself it's the culture of the system and the culture of black people is we are the ones that came in with the saying. Hit and don't be hit. Stick and move. Mm -hmm. Make a miss, make them pay. That was us. <laughs> you know, that was us. And that fits who, that fits 52 blocks. So I would say definitely is that it's a culture thing over anything. And, it, it, and it's, it's, it's all of these type of arts that, you know, like, cause we, you know, abstractly, we can all, we can trace 52 blocks all the way back to the motherland, abstractly wise. But it's really in, a black American fighting system, you know, and it needs to get its credit for that because it's what we did over here too, you know, it's what, it's what we took from genetic drift, you know, you can see kids today, they'll fight and they'll do something, and they'll do yeah. a 52 and they don't even know they're doing it, but because it's genetically in them to, um, to fight like that, they don't even know why. The whole day, why they hold their hands like that. It's not whether it's smart or not, it's just the genetic drift of that's how you know, all of this start, all of this stuff was coming into play, and they got it, but they don't have it. Mm. You know, so the big mission was to give them back 
a piece of history that is already in them that they need to know. And I got to say, ladies and gentlemen, we got the minds of the youngest. And I think that's the biggest thing out. Like, you know, I got support from a lot of brothers that was around my age that can um, remember what 52 blocks was. But to get the attention of preteens and young men, I think that's big. And 52 blocks has that right now. I'm, I'm getting emails from young men, 14 years old, 15, saying I want to be down with the movement. And um, that's big, I think that's big. I think like, you know, that's like, that's what like, we just talked about with the Don B Warriors. More than just the fight, look at the crowd. Everybody's there. Everybody's into it. We talking about hundreds of people. Hundreds of people. You know, you got mothers out there, the mothers, mothers out there, the children, the, the little babies is out there. Don B brings you know? the cult. Don B is bringing the community together. So that's what we need to see in these fighting system, and that's what Fifty Two is doing right now to young black warriors coming up in the fight game. They got something they can they can claim. That's like that's ours. Just like Chinese can say Wing Chun, that's our stuff, and can't nobody tell them differently. We can now look and say Fifty Two Blocks, that's ours. And, that's, and that means a lot, you know, knowing part of who you are. Like Wilson Pitts, when I told him I knew 52 Blocks, he's like, you know 52 Blocks. And, and he's white, but at the same time, he was able to connect it back and give me back my history of like why you know 52 Blocks. Because it's yours. You should know more of it. You should understand where it came about. And it was him that showed me Jack Johnson, Chitlin Circuit, 10 Black Men in the Ring, Blindfolded. Constant winner, constant winner. We ain't talking no luck. Like he won one time, not nah, nah. constant winner. So if you blindfolded, how you fighting? Like hey. how you moving? <laughs> how, how, how you finding that next opponent? Thanks. You know how Thanks. you finding that man the mm. genetic drift? Mm. You know, and then they had one reporter said, look at young Jack Johnson catching all the punches on his forearms and elbows using blocks to set up counter strikes. They had never seen nothing like that at this time. Wow. You know, so if we want to trace back 52, we don't even have to, you know, of course everything comes from the motherland. We don't even have to question that. The motherland is the source. But apart from that, it was right here that we put it together. And then by the time the 70s came, it was more systematic. Now you have brothers in the street, add more system to it mm. and, and more different pieces to it. And then, you know, you had somebody come along, put it all together, you know, and, and, and make it more scientific. And I think that's what my job was. If I did anything for 52, and you know, I don't tote my own horn, that's not my style, but if, I, if, if somebody was to ask me, what did I do for 52? I'd just say I, I, I made it more scientific, I made it, more uh, rather easily to learn, put it like that. Because to learn something, to learn, to be able to teach something to some to somebody, you have to have, you have to put it in a certain process. I, you know, you can't show a person a block and then come back ten days later and expect them to do that block. It's a lot of muscle memory and all types of other stuff that comes in with teaching. So I think that's all I added to it was more systematic approach to um, training it. So that way, when the fight kicks off you got it to use, you know, because we all know, you know, training any system, and, you know, a certain amount of training, it's not going to guarantee you that that system goes into the fight with you, you know. <laughs> and I remember learning how to kick before I got to Roberto and I had to fight in Nepal, and I threw up my hands and I, I said, I sent the signal to my right leg, like, all right, we've been doing karate, it's time, kick his face off. And my right leg was like, nah, son, we good. <laughs> that sounds like uh, the spiritual end of it, like where it becomes part of who you are. Yes, 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 yes. Fighting, fighting to be effective, any system, it has to almost become like you putting your leg in, you no, know, you putting your pants on. You don't never wake up one morning and forget how to put your pants on you. It's muscle memory, it's there. And if your system isn't like that, then, I, you know, you know, you, you know, you're going to end up putting your head down and going and fighting the way <laughs> your brain is more comfortable. You're you putting your pants on your arms. Exactly, exactly. You be putting yeah. your pants on your arms. Trying to walk so. upside down. <laughs> exactly. Gotcha. So, you know, the um, muscle memory is important to any fight system. And I think, like I said, that's what I added to 52 is that we can't freestyle this because I met a lot of 52 block men that was mad at me because I wouldn't talk that way. Like, I don't believe. 
and magic of, you know, like there's some magicness to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I believe in the only magic is hard work. Like if you work hard at something, you'll see some magic. Cause that's mm -hmm. called the payoff, you know? Yeah. But other than that, I don't think just because I'm doing 52 means I'm blocking every shot that uh, over any system, like any technique, forget the technique, the coach is what brought about the t those techniques. Uh, I had a guy ask me if uh, 52 blocks was Kung Fu and uh, boxing, and that's the problem. You know, it's like, it's not, the problem with what we, what we did is looked at as, it couldn't be, how did they create this? Like, how do you make a system in jail? But what they're thinking about is jail at the wrong time. We're not talking about crack dealers and, you know, stick up kids. We talk about Jack Johnson, locked up for the Man Act, for taking his wife. You know, we talking about going to jail when being black was a crime. You know what I'm saying? Not to be, so when you hear it. So you had to defend yourself from Yeah, yourself. exactly. So when we hear it, a lot of people think, oh, it's some criminal thing, and that's why they toss it away. Even though there's no art on this planet that don't support criminals. No art. Hmm. This criminal Capoeira man, the Yakuza that took the show game warriors, you know what I'm saying? Chinese mob, Chinese mafia will bring some heavy wind chung down on you if they got, you know, so they try to paint it as, oh, 52 blocks is this gangster. So every system had, has a criminal. The criminals will use it because it's really the criminals who yeah, need it. Ninjutsu, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ninjutsu, the ninjas. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the really, ninjas at you. <laughs> you know, who, who's really using the fighting systems of the culture? The warriors and the criminals. And I think that's a point that a lot of fighters miss is that these blocks are not like we're trying to block. No, you're trying to hit us. Hmm. So you run into the block naturally. So that way it stops you from overthrowing the block. So you know you got skull and bones, closed door, closed door, triangle trade, triangle trade, uptown. You know, so. <laughs> 52 you know, force field. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all looking for different things. Like if I throw up a skull and bones and he throws a hook, mm -hmm. I'm caught. Mm -hmm. And see, that's what the problem with most 52 men. You can't just be blocking for the sake so of blocking. So you're training the eyes too. Yes, you have to train the eyes and you use your blocks because everybody is a Sunday puncher. Nobody punches, <laughs> has every punch correctly except for Mayweather. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But rather people don't. So when you throw up your blocks, you're going to see what type of punch he is and then you know what blocks to use. So that way, this ain't like magic. Like people always ask me like, how do you know what blocks to use? I said, my opponent tells me that, you know. My opponent tells me which block to use because off of how he attacks. You know, if he's a straight line attacker, he's only gonna be able to attack a straight line. If he doesn't know how to punch a straight line, he's gonna throw round punches. So that way, it makes it real simple to understand what blocks you have to use. You ain't gotta guess what he's doing, and you don't have to be a mind reader.